hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to my second channel or to the second channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley. And if you're a returner, welcome back. If you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, we are doing a vlog New York City style. Why? Good question. We actually went to McSorley's Old L House, which is the oldest Irish pub in New York City and quite possibly the country for St. Patrick's Day content. But we decided to make a whole little adventure vlog out of it. So be sure to like, subscribe so you don't miss the St. Patrick's Day video going live there. But of course, there's so much more to do and see in New York City. So why don't you tag along and let's just get started at the beginning. When we travel, Hubbin and I do not like to waste time, so we were up bright and early, excited to explore, and our first stop was the One World Trade Center. But first, we stopped by to pay tribute to the buildings that once stood here and the thousands of lives lost 22 and a half years ago. Now this right here, this was really cool. This is the only tree that survived the 9-11 attacks. It was left with snapped roots and burned and broken branches, but the New York City Parks and Rec Department did their magic and it's right back here today. Of course, we took our time looking over the memorial pools because it's so hard for me to wrap my head around the fact just how big these towers were. And One World Trade Center was actually built on the same size footprint, but it's more than 400 feet taller than the original towers. And let me tell you something, in this country, when we rebuild, we rebuild big. Here's the thing about me. I'm not exactly scared of heights, but I am scared how we're gonna get there. And One World's elevator takes you up 102 stories, 102 stories, in just 47 seconds. Scary? Absolutely. An incredible experience? Also, absolutely. Welcome to One World Observatory. So as soon as you get off the elevator, you have to watch an informational video about the city of New York and you sort of kind of wish you could skip it to get to the views, but it's totally worth it to stick around. Well, because of this right here. I was not, I thought this was like, oh, a little cute little video. Give you some insight. Was not ready to see it. Was not ready. The Statue of Liberty was south. That's north. West. And after one world, it was time to do what I do best, and that is take a nap. And then it was time to go hit the town. Why does our house match? I was so beyond excited to meet up with V, or as many of you know her, Vicunia is her username and her screen name. We played Mortal Kombat and we ate some authentic Japanese. She is so funny and so kind, just like she is online. <laughs> I was sad that the night had to come to an end. She had a plane to catch and I had to be up early the next morning to head to the Statue of Liberty. It ain't, it ain't warm. And it wet. They have them. Do, do they? Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Can't tell me there ain't no spooky shit around these parts. So to be in this absolutely iconic statue is like really cool. I like doing cool things. Some people do this as a kid. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I 
things that give me anxiety when I'm walking and I know that I'm beyond capable of walking and people start saying walk just that, walk just that and I think there's going to be like a surprise obstacle or something. It freaks me. It's, it's, it's things that shouldn't make you anxious. That's a statue of you. You have two options for getting to the top of the statue's pedestal. You either wait for the elevator, the, the only <laughs> elevator that takes maybe four people up at a time, or you can just walk the steps. Guess what we did? Got the raw. I don't know how many floors we got go up. But your girl gotta breathe. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the elevator ride was optional to get up here. And then from here to the crown, we have 167 steps. These steps don't count. But I sure as hell was counting them. Four to five steps to the top of the pedestal. The views from the top of the pedestal were beautiful. It's so pretty. But that was still only halfway for us. And honestly, we just wanted to go ahead and get the next 168 steps out of the way. These are so skinny. y'all I don't mind heights it's how I get there that's the problem I'm freaking the fuck out I'm freaking the actual fuck out I'm really excited that we're doing it really excited to do it I think it's definitely gonna be one of those things you do it once and you're done you know like do it once see it once you're done but we've been having to remind ourselves that little kids do this so we can do this little kids do this we can do this Little kids do this, we can do this. Now, I don't know how big you thought her noggin would be, but it ain't a lot. This is so cool. It's so worth it. Wow, this is so cool. I will definitely never forget being in the crown of the Statue of Liberty. And I will also never forget taking the journey back down those stairs. How you doing? I'm okay, thank you. If we want to, we can uh, go back up. I would rather die. To quote Selena Meyer from Veep, I would rather be shot in the fucking face. <laughs> You know, in about five minutes, we're not going to be complaining about being warm, and I'm trying to remember that. I appreciate the warmth while we have it, but until that time comes, I'm going to bitch about it. And guess what? I had a lot more flights of stairs to bitch about! This, this is obscene. I don't know if it's because we're so nervous. This is an obscene amount of walking. Obscene. Let me tell you something. I'm going to all the carbs. All of them. We have been fasting today. It is 144. Let me tell you something. If I want a burger with a, with a side of fries and an extra fries on top of the burger, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. More stairs! This is why I'm 30 and having to wear compression socks. It's too much. My body wasn't made for this. And finally, we made it. And all of a sudden, I kind of wish we would have had that 47 second elevator ride to the top of the crown like we did at One World Trade Center. Have you ever seen the animated movie Hercules? The animated one? Mm -mm. Oh my god. Okay, well since Heaven doesn't get this reference, everybody, we are the muses. They'll get it. They'll get it. This is based off the Roman goddess Liberty, and it says down here often she was accompanied by a Liberty loving cat. She's a cat lady. Can we bring back Top Hat? Just have, I would, I would take you so seriously if you wore Top Hat. My quad is shaking. My quad is shaking. I can't. 
can't believe they have this yet. This, this right here is actual captured air from groundbreaking day. Wow. If only we could sniff it. Okay, so we just got done with the Statue of Liberty, the museum, meh, it a museum, it is what it is. But um, the crown, happy we did it, would never do it again. Would never do it again. Happy we did it, never again. But now I'm really excited to go see her like on the ground, you know, and look up in the front. So I'm excited about that. It was a little cold and a wee bit windy, but this view, are you kidding me? Totally worth it. I'll definitely remember the views of Manhattan and the time that I almost had a cardiac arrest attack on the stairs of the Statue of Liberty, but Huppin <laughs> is gonna remember this. Does it need to be bigger? Say it again. I thought I was squeezing the Statue of Liberty. Do I need to be bigger? I think we're at Wall Street right now and we just made it to the bull statue. The line to touch the bull's balls is longer than the line to take a picture with the bull's <laughs> face. Thoughts, Martha? It that. <laughs> you know, like it's cool because it's Wall Street and like, you know, whatever. But now that I'm here and I saw the bull, I'm like, oh, okay. It's a, it's a bull statue. Oh, okay then. New York doesn't really feel real. Um, the same street that you have big brokers making these million dollar stock exchanges, you have people taking pictures with their hands on the bull's ball sack, you also find historic places like this. It is the forever home of Alexander Hamilton. And you're welcome for me getting that stuck in your head. It's also the forever home of a bunch of other important early Americans. It's crazy. Now, Federal Hall is where George Washington, the father of this nation, took the oath and ran the country. Well, not from this exact building, but literally from this spot. George Washington stood right there and said four score and seven years ago. He stood right there and he said, we have the meats. kind of weird not to be able to see the sky at any given I know that's so dramatic like look straight up but you know I'm used to being able to just look and there be sky but like here in the wrong spot all you see is like concrete with just a sliver of sky I just I think today I'm missing the space of Tennessee but by the end of day two I was mostly just missing the bit we clocked about six miles that day, which doesn't sound like a lot, but think about the amount of steps that that took up. <laughs> I was really struggling to relate to the whole the city that never sleeps thing. So I got a little sippy and I ate some breakfast and then I was ready for the boss mission of our trip, also known as day three. Oh, the ghost left us on. My future ex-husband was right here. We stood in the same spot, so you could say things are getting pretty serious. Very cool. Very cool. 
I just love that they kept the Ghostbuster signs. You know, it's one thing to drive past like the friend's apartment and stuff like that, and it's just the exterior of the building, which I guess that's the whole point. But like the fact that we still got the Ghostbusters logos and stuff, it's really cool that like they're owning the fact that this location is from Ghostbusters and they're not changing that. And I really, I really like that a lot. Going from Middle Tennessee to New York City reminded me just how different life is in other parts of the country. Okay, I feel like in Home Alone 2, you know, Kevin McAllister finds that lady in the park and she's feeding pigeons. And even, oh my God, even in Mary Poppins, there's that lady tupping a bag, whatever, feeding pigeons. I'm like, who does that? It's, it's a real thing people are doing, feeding pigeons. Next, we went to McSorley's, the oldest Irish pub in the city and maybe even the country. We're here in February filming for St. Patrick's Day content. The reason why I'm dating this is because the only reason why we planned to come right here was for St. Patrick's Day. But today, February 17th, literally today, is their 170th anniversary. We didn't plan that. I love it when the universe is like, hey bitch, you're doing great. So like I said earlier, you're just gonna have to like and subscribe to see more of my trip to McSorley's on March 17th, also St. Patrick's Day. Part of the reason why day three was the boss mission was because we clocked 11 miles. But we also found some really cool places like Union Square. Even in the winter, this place was so beautiful and full of life. There were people playing chess in the park. It was cute. Look at him, he's such a bitch. But the pigeons, they were assholes. Next, we headed to another observatory, Summit One Vanderbilt, a fairly new attraction in New York with an unnecessarily long name. So here's what the Instagram influencers won't tell you when you come to places like this, is that they give you shoe covers because the ground is, you know. So it's not, it's not very aesthetic. It's not very influencer-y. But you do get these really cool glasses though. Hold on. I mean, whatever. I'm excited. Wow. I see they gave us sunglasses. It's the Empire State Building. There's the one more. We ate lunch there. This is so cool. I'm so glad we did this. We were in the tallest point in the Western Hemisphere just 48 hours ago. And it's really cool to have this brand new observation, you know, this new view. So we just came literally to the other side of the wall from the mirror room we were just on, instantly 20 degrees cooler, but I saw this art and I'm like, what, what made this? You know what it was? It was their temperature test samples of the steel in that other room. Hot as fuck, melted the steel. That's what happened, that's what happened. Hubbard and I agree on this. One World is a great starting point because you can see all of Manhattan. Summit One puts you in the heart of the hustle and bustle. It was simply next level. Three floors, breathtaking views, a lot of mirrors, and if I'm honest with you, endless Insta-worthy photos. The two experiences are very different, but both get a 10 out of 10 from me. If you can do both, I highly recommend it. On to Broadway in hopes of meeting one of my favorite actresses in the entire world. People might call me a fake fan. Um, I first was introduced to Sarah Paulson thanks to American Horror Story, and we have watched every season of that. Um, love American Horror Story, and then I watched American Crime Story where she played Marsha Clark, 
and that was her first Emmy, which was like a win for all of us. Um, like I love her so much that me and my best friend in college, Kyle, hi Kyle, we used to buy a cake for Sarah Paulson's birthday. Like that's how big of a deal it was. Anyways, uh, we didn't have a lot going on in college. Um, we stood outside the stage door and hoped for the best. And a few minutes later, there she was. Well, that's tickets to the summit. Well, we tried to get tickets here, but you were sold out. Girl, Good job, I'm by the way. Listen to me when I tell you, this Sarah Paulson is so fucking ready to go home. And I really just told her that I'm so close to crying. She does not give two fucks. And she, <laughs> I mean, she does. She was so nice and took her down with everybody. And I think that's so nice when like famous people like realize that the people who watch their stuff are why who they are. You know, I mean, it's their talent, but like also like the fans. Anyway, it's really cool to see someone of her her ability and stature and celebrity status like take time and she made time the entire the entire way with all the fans to say hi and that's really cool and that's our passing the most us thing that we could do is uh be on times square meet sarah paulson and then go to taco bell this right here hubbin you don't know this this right here is where the amazing spider-man not to be confused with spider-man and then tom holland spider-man this is where the amazing spider-man defeated electro <laughs> you know what they say if you can make it in new york you can make it anywhere <laughs> well would you look at that look who made it I love New York City. Hold on, let me clarify. I love visiting New York City. The views, the sounds, let's be honest, the sensory overload. <laughs> it's all so much fun. We spent a lot of time at the tops of things and maybe next time we'll be brave enough to ride the subway. We walked more than 30 miles over the course of three days. Got to check out some really cool historic places and some really neat modern ones. I want nachos. We're in the crown. We're in the crown. This is the crown. My nose is running. Do the second leg. Do the second leg. And sometimes I just be shooting myself. Did you see the googly eyes? That's not about Ghostbusters, but it's still funny. My advice, go. Don't let the traffic and crowded sidewalk scare you. Your shoulder's gonna get tired. I swear to God, if we die, it's time to the bottom half with you. Birth control? Feel like going up? No. <laughs> no. No. Yes. <laughs> You're 30 in a few weeks. <laughs> it's hotter than blue, blue blazes. Blue blazes. <laughs> if that alarm keeps going off, I am gonna freak out. Just know we were vibing to Alicia Keys in New York. I can't wait to show you what we have planned for St. Patrick's Day at McSorley's. It's a really great time, so I hope you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your meds. Love you, bye. Whoa.